Hey guys, Lucy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have possibly one of the most exciting videos anyone could ever film ever. Um, and that is a Glossier haul and unboxing. And Glossier is exciting as it is anyway, but it's especially exciting for me right now because if you can't already tell, I'm Australian and Glossier don't ship to Australia as, I, as I'm filming this currently. I have signed up to the email, like the email list when they notify you when Glossier is coming to Australia, but it hasn't happened and I spent all 2017 kind of um, lusting after these products and not really knowing how to get my hands on them. Um, and then I worked out a way to get them. So I want to share that with everyone in case anyone is in the same boat as me. Even though this might not be groundbreaking news, people might already know this, but um, I've got to share it anyway. And also who doesn't love a haul, so we've got to do that. Um, okay, so yeah, basically if you've clicked on this video, you probably already know about Glossier and you probably already love it. But um, I... I haven't obviously used any of their products yet. I've got everything in a box sitting next to me. Um, but I, I feel like I already love the brand, just everything they stand for. The fact that their founder, Emily, like is, she's like the face of the brand, but it's not, it's not called like Emily, Emily Weiss or however you say her name. It's not cool. It's not named after her. It's her own brand, but she does stand so firmly behind it. Um, so that's cool. She's such a, a smart, strong, beautiful woman and um, yeah, I feel like I would always trust her opinion on anything and trust her products. So, I mean, I have to obviously try them first and see if I'm correct in that, but I really, I really have high hopes. <laughs> I really think I will love them. Um, also, their whole like philosophy about skincare first, makeup second is something that I really love to get behind. I've always looked after my skin. Um, I'm not someone who has to always wear makeup anytime I go out and I feel like that's because I do look after my skin so um, obviously I have bad days but generally I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, it's not the, the only thing I am kind of a bit worried about is I feel like a lot of people that rave about Glossier on YouTube and Instagram already have perfect skin so there's only so much products can do if your skin is already perfect of course you're gonna love any kind of product so I, I do worry about that because I feel like my skin isn't as perfect as some other people's um, but I do still really think I'm gonna love the products um, just yeah I, I, I feel like I just could ramble all day about how amazing they seem um, so I think that's that's a, that provides a good like basis for this whole and also for future videos, if I end up loving a product, yeah, I'm probably already pretty biased because I do love it. But if I don't like something, you know, it's um, you'll know that it's pretty strong opinion because I had I'm, I'm already up here, so I'm gonna be I'm have to I'm gonna have to be dragged down a few pegs. But I I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get into the actual details of the process. So I. Got it to Australia through Shopmate, which is something that um, is created by Australia Post. Again, people might already know about this, but I'm just going to share my experience anyway. So you make an account and then they have um, like a warehouse in, well, I don't know if they have one or several um, in the US. And then anything you want that can't get shipped to Australia will get shipped to them. And then you pay a fee and then that gets shipped to you from their warehouse. So um, it's not cheap, I'll start by saying that. However, the actual brand, um, I feel like their products, again, I haven't tried them to know what the quality is like, but from what I can take in about what their quality is like, they are cheap for what you're getting, um, really good value for money, especially um, once again, comparing US to Australia, we pay a lot more for the same products here. So I feel like even with all the exchange rates and with the extra fees, it's probably still gonna be worth your money. Um, but I do have to start off by saying that, yeah, it wasn't cheap. So just keep that in mind. Um, so basically, um, we'll talk about time first. I've got some notes down here if you're wondering what I'm looking at because I don't wanna miss any important details out. 
Um, so we'll start off with the time I ordered it. So it's a little bit hard because I did order it over Christmas and New Year, so you've got to factor in the all the public holidays and then um, obviously like the time difference and everything, it's a little bit hard to say exactly how long it took. Um, but so I actually ordered it on Christmas day um, cause I, my parents gave me some Christmas money and I had a bit of a treat yourself moment and bought absolutely everything I wanted that I had been wanting for like, like I said, over a year. So I did that on, um, 8.36 PM on December 25th and then it arrived to my house in Australia on Saturday the 13th of January. So factoring in public holidays. That's 12 business days, which I think is phenomenal. Um, I don't know whether we should be including Saturdays and her including business days, seeing as it did arrive on a Saturday. So if we're including Saturdays, it's 15 business days, but I still think that's phenomenal. So timing is great. Um, and also we've got to think about like, maybe businesses are technically open after Christmas, but they weren't back to their proper schedule. So maybe without all the public holidays, it's still be taking a few days off it. So considering the time of year, that was perfect. The actual process was so easy. Um, yeah, literally you, you put in your shipping address as their, the address that they give you from Shopmate. You have your own little address. Um, like you have a number that goes to you, but then the actual building address is the same and um, you order it and then they let you know once it's received there. And I think they hold them um, up to like a month or two. I honestly, I can't remember that detail, um, but that way they can consolidate packages. So if you had a few small things, once they all arrived, they'd put them into one bigger one. So it'd be cheaper to send with mine. Glossier for some reason sent the packages in, sent the things in three packages. Um, cause I bought a lot, I guess, and maybe it was cheaper to do it like that. Um, and then they didn't consolidate it once it was in the warehouse in the US. They just sent it in three packages. So maybe that was the best way to do it. I really don't know. But, um, so once that arrives, then you have, yeah, that time, which I'm guessing, I think it was a month. It could be longer, um, to pay for the, the shipping to Australia. And then they send it from then once it's all received and consolidated. Um, so pricing, I did have a 20% off coupon, which I think was just like a, you know, went the, your first purchase through Shopmate kind of thing. So that was 20% off. Um, so including that, it was about $30 per package. So it was about $90, this is Australian dollars, to um, get it to me. And that's on the whole thing. And that's, um, I got 13 items and those items I'm including like the, like I got like the phase one set um, and like the cloud paint um, quad. I'm including that as one item because I'm guessing um, they would have shipped that as one item and it still may have been $30 per item to get it here. So basically I worked it out to be about $7 per item to get it to Australia, which sounds expensive, but like I said, when you're looking at these actual individual items and you're comparing them to items we can get in Australia, it's actually not that bad. It's, um, it may, it, I really think it's worth your money. Obviously, um, I would think the more you buy it once, the better it would be, but I did buy a lot and then it, it was more expensive to get it over here. So I honestly don't know. I'd have to do a bit of experimenting to see the best way it would work. But, um, yeah, in general, I can't talk about, I can't rave about this Shopmate service enough because it's, it was so easy to use. It wasn't too expensive. It was, I was expecting a lot worse and, um, yeah, I was able to get Glossier. So I really cannot complain about anything. Um, so yeah, let's get into the haul, shall we? I don't know. It's, I feel like I'm just so excited. I just don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, so like I said, I got three packages. There's um, one, two, and three. And this one's a bit smaller. So I think they're all about a kilo. Maybe that was their cutoff for when they um, 
yeah, maybe that's their cutoff for shipping. Maybe it's just cheaper to do it that way. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, that's how they arrive. Um, I guess I'll just open them up one by one. We'll talk about what I got and um, try not to die over excitement. Yes. Okay, so let me just open this. By the way, I will try and um, link absolutely everything relevant down below. But if I've missed anything, just um, have a chat in the comments. We'll sort it out. Any other further questions about Shopmate or anything? Um, yeah, again, we can just have a chat in the comments. Oh my God. Okay, I just opened the package. Oh, this is way too exciting. <laughs> oh, I have been dreaming about this for so long. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Make the world glossier. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so what is this? Is this a little... Oh. The aesthetic is just to die for. I wore this top today, Girls Support Girls, because obviously the colour scheme is very, um, you know, in line with Glossier. And then also, um, I love Emily and their whole team, and they're all women and amazing women, and I want to show my support for them by wearing this t-shirt. I don't know. Um, anyway, oh, this is just a little thank you card. Oh my god. Just everything about this brand kills me. These, oh my god, once again, I've been dreaming about this packaging. Eat these bags, just like next level, adorable, but also like practical and oh, I'm just very excited right now. Oh my god, okay. All right, so the first thing, <laughs> the first thing is the cloud paint quad. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Okay, so this, I feel like, again, once again, you're probably all familiar with all of these products, but I'll talk about them anyway. So, the cloud paints are essentially cream liquid blush. Um, four different colours, and it was cheaper to buy them in the quad. That's another thing I want to talk about. Ooh, shall we? That's another thing I want to talk about, is the price of the packs I got versus the individual products. So this cloud paint quad was um, $55, whereas usually by themselves they are, um, oh, I didn't write the actual total. I just wrote that you save $17 when you buy them in a quad. Um, also for reference, that's um, $69 US dollars and five cents. Um, and then adding on my seven dollars of shipping money, which is kind of what I what I think is a good way to work it out. It would have been seventy six oh five. So I think that's amazing value because you um in times four of like say I don't know Mac cream blush Nars they're going to be like one hundred fifty minimum for four mm, two hundred or something here. So amazing. Um, okay, let me. Is it too much? Yeah, I think it's too much if I kind of look at all this in detail on camera. So I'm just going to skip that for now and I'll uh, sit here and try and contain myself without actually looking at them until I finish filming. Um, anyway, so that's the first item. Oh, and what's this? Oh my goodness. The next one comes in a box. I can't deal. Oh, the packaging is so cute. Next level, I can't, I cannot deal. Okay, so, oh, the sleeve comes off. Oh, this box, oh my God, this must be one of those sets. Oh my God. Again, you've probably already seen this, but I'm still oh, just very excited. Okay, so this is the phase one set. So it gets, um, comes with the Milky Jelly Cleanser, the Priming Moisturizer, and the Balm.com. So this is $40 US, so that's $50.22 Australian. And then when we add that $7, obviously $57.22 for shipping. And individually, without buying it in the pack, it would have been $52. So you're saving $12. So that's pretty cool. Generally, that's the route I went down with 
this haul is just ordering absolutely everything I could in packs because I know I want to try every single product at least once so that's just a good starting point and um, yeah saving money so why wouldn't I so yeah I think all this stuff is really great value for money um, yeah when I look at it all like really the milky jelly cleanser $18 Normally, my cleanser would be like 40, 50, depending on which one I buy. Like, I'm talking like Kate Somerville or um, even Ren, which is like a cheaper alternative to my skincare. It's still like 30 or 40 dollars. So, really, yeah, amazing deals. And <sighs> the packaging, again, it's just killing me. I cannot. Okay, so that's package number one done and yeah like i said that stuff plus 30 dollars to get it here yep super easy and convenient so once again cannot rave about this shopmate um system enough okay next packaging next package what am i saying next package oh as i'm cutting this i even see they have like on the tape they have a little smiley face that says have a nice day can they they couldn't be any cuter if they tried seriously i cannot so obviously as you can see i haven't tried any of these products yet but so far we're off to a great start and i really only see my love for glossier getting higher and higher like already you know uh, from all the press i've seen emily says that you know she wanted to create a brand that you want to wear the sweatshirt for and already i want to wear their sweatshirt even though i haven't tried anything so i have really high hopes once again oh my god okay oh i got a giant a giant bag in this package oh my goodness and it's got Oh, lots of the smaller products in there. Oh, I can't. Okay, so what is in here? Oh, the first thing is the Perfecting Skin Tint. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about this, to be honest, because like I said, most people I've seen use it have perfect skin, and I don't. So I feel like I'm going to need a bit more than this. However, I still want to try it, and I still think there's a time and a place for this kind of thing. So even if it doesn't make me look like I've got perfect skin, I still might like it. Also, I'm constantly working on my skin. So, you know, I do have good skin days some days and I would like to use this. And one day maybe my skin will be perfect. So then I can use this. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'll, like I said with everything, um, I can't say yet, but I'll get back to you when I have used it. Maybe I'll do like a whole video of like, first impressions or something like that we'll see so perfecting skin tint pricing so pricing for that was 26 and then when we convert that to Australian dollars that's 32.64 and then when we add the seven dollars for shipping 39.64 which seems expensive for a small package like this however it's pretty standard I'm gonna compare it to the Clinique CC cream because I feel like that's the kind of the only thing I've purchased that is in my head similar. Um, I think that would cost 40 or more, I can't remember, but yeah, about the same as that. And I don't know who 30 mil 30 mil seems pretty standard. I think it's just the packaging makes it looks like you've got less in there, but yeah, I do think it's going to be worth your money. So that's that one. Um, Oh my god, this is giving me like heart palpitations. I'm literally so excited right now. Oh, wow. Okay, what's this? Oh, the Generation G. I cannot, I cannot deal with these. I bought, okay, I bought four of them. But like that's, I, I think I bought all of them actually because I bought four and then I bought another one in a pack. I think I got them all in the end. Um, once again, I'm going to have to go through all the colors another time because this video is already getting too long, but you've probably already all seen them swatched and you probably already know about them. It's, um, 
it, you, it's always good to have extra people's opinions, but for now we'll, we'll leave it and I'll get back to you in another video. Um, but yeah, let's talk about price. So they're normally $18 and so that, um, that goes to $22.60 Australian, but then $29.60 with the um, shipping money, which is perfectly fine. I think even um, even some like drugstore lipsticks at that price, it's yeah, the pricing here is a bit next level. Um, but just in general, if we're going to compare it to say a Mac lipstick, that's thirty six here, so. 2960 is great in my opinion. Um, what's next? Oh my god. <sighs> Halo scope. Which one is this? Did I get both? I think I got both. Yep. Moonstone and quartz. Cannot deal with these again. Um, 22 for them. So that goes to $27.62 Australian and then $34.62 with that $7 for the shipping. Um, I'm comparing these to say the Fenty Shimmer Sticks and I think, I think they would be at least $34. I honestly can't remember, but yeah, once again, pretty comparable. Um, yeah, oh, I'm so excited to use them. They look beautiful. Oh, okay. This is honestly what I have the highest hopes for this balm.com like who hasn't been raving about this especially like um it's, it's in literally every i think yeah every single 2017 favorites video i've watched so i have extremely high hopes the fact that um anna the anna edit said that it's a matte balm really gets me going because I'm not a huge fan of lip gloss. It has a time and a place, but in general, I want matte, matte balm. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm very excited. And once again, the packaging, like I, next level, I can't, oh man, they've given me stickers. They've won my heart again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cannot deal. I love this brand so much. <sighs> okay, this is very exciting. This is the Super Pack. Is it called the Super Pack? Yeah, it's called the Super Pack. I think this is the pack where you save the most money. It's normally 84 when you buy them individually, 65 when you buy them in the pack. So that's 65 US goes to 81.62. Australian dollars, then eighty-eight sixty-two with um, that seven dollars shipping added. That is, I mean, if these are as good as some people, or actually, I haven't honestly heard that many people rave about them. They, it's been quite mixed reviews from them. But I haven't tried the ordinary, and people always say that the ordinary. No, people don't always say that. Some people have said that the ordinary is better um, with their like equivalent serums. So I would have to check that and the pricing of that in Australia to see what's better. But I've never really tried any serums like this that are quite, um, what's, what's the word? Like, um, like pure, like one, like the serum that literally just says it's hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5, like, any I've used have been like the Sunday Riley good jeans and things that are, I don't know, it's not as, um, not as cut and dry and like as easy to understand what you're putting on your skin. So for me, this is their brand new product and I think I'm going to love them, but for true review purposes, I think I'm going to need to try them and then try the ordinary and then compare. But as they are anyway, I think I was getting to pricing 65, 88, 62 is ridiculous because for one serum from Mecca, say, um, the good jeans, that's like a hundred and something dollars. So for all three at that price, like they're going to have to be pretty bad for me not to like them. I think, um, yeah, so, oh, and did I say that they're normally, no, I didn't. You save $20 when you buy them in three, normally they're 84, um, and you're paying 64, I think. I, I think you save about $20 anyway. 
Um, okay, so this is exciting. Oh, what's this? Oh my God. Okay, another box. I did get the phase two set as well, I think. Oh, that's got the concealer in it. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use that concealer. Ooh. Once again, round of applause for the packaging. I just, I just can't. Yeah, so this is that phase two pack. So that's got in it the stretch concealer, which I'm next level excited for. The boy brow, which again, I'm next level excited for. Um, I'm hoping that's going to replace my Benefit Gimme Brow because that is being discontinued and I don't know why. And currently I'm using the Too Faced Quickie Brow, which is great. But I'm like, I know for sure this is cheaper so and it seems better. Um, so that's exciting and it's got another Generation G. So yeah, once again, I think I got all of them. Um, this is very exciting once again. Okay, oh, pricing for that, sorry, let's get into pricing. So again, um, Generation G is 18 on its own. The stretch concealer is also 18 on its own and the boy brow is 16 on its own. So normally it's 52, you're paying 40 for that. So you're saving $12. Um, again, so $50.22 Australian, but then 57.22 with that shipping money added. Um, yeah, again, I don't think I have to keep saying it. Like, everything seems like such great value for money. Like, if I'm just comparing the Boy Brow to Gimme Brow, I think that's usually 35. So, 35 versus 57 for the three products. Like, once again, everything here is going to have to be pretty bad for me not to like it. Um, okay, so, knife out. Next, next package. Last package. Oh my god. On one hand, I'm sad, but then on the other hand, it's amazing because then I get to play with them. Ugh, once again, I'm dying. Yes, this is what I was talking about. Skin first, makeup second, smile always, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that is the philosophy that I love so much. So many people don't take skincare seriously enough and I just, yeah, I just, I really think you should. Um, the thing that gets me though is like I was saying, so, like some people just have perfect skin so they put on these products and they look amazing and I don't. I honestly, I have always struggled with my skin and I have friends that have literally never done any kind of skincare routine at all and have better skin than me and it's not fair. Um, <sighs> Yeah, it kills me every day. But at least I know I'm doing better than people who maybe would have similar skin than me but don't look after it. I don't know. Basically, all I'm saying is uh, I love this philosophy of skincare first, makeup, or skin first, makeup second. Oh, what is this? One last product. Oh man, this is the Body Hero. Is it the Body Hero Duo? Okay, this is the Body Hero Duo. So this is very exciting. Okay, these seem absolutely beautiful. There's nothing better than having a really luxurious shower routine, I guess, with um, beautiful body wash and moisturizer. However, the pricing, I don't even think it's gonna be that much. Like it's that much more than what I'd buy at like the supermarket or whatever. So this might be something I'd be able to do all the time. Um, so I'm very excited about that. So this is the body wash and the cream. The wash is normally 18 and the cream is normally 22. So that's normally $40, you pay 35. So you're saving $5, not a huge deal, but it's obviously better than nothing. Um, so once again, $43.94 in Australian dollars and then $50.94 for that $7 shipping. So yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Like if I compare it to something more luxe, yeah, you're probably gonna be paying that much. 
probably more for anything that else that you'd get that's more luxurious obviously if i'm getting something from coles or whatever i could probably get the body wash and the moisturizer for like 20 or 30 but that's getting like pretty cheap stuff pretty average stuff so when you compare them it's next level amazing oh i just cannot wait to smell them okay let's have a smell okay wow that's not what i was expecting but in a good way oh my god yeah i love it i can't and the fact that this is a body oil as well you can't you can't just get them anywhere like basically i yeah i really think i'm gonna love every single product i've got <laughs> so this is all just very exciting um i think i've kind of mentioned all the important things and that's the end of the haul so we can stop there yeah we've mentioned everything important so i'm yeah i'm going to stop it there and then i'll do another video um i i could even do two i feel like i want to do one that's a uh, face of glossier um trying the products for the first time and then i want to do a like a, a review kind of i've seen a lot of great reviews and i think it's just so good with a new brand to talk in depth about every product you've tried and then the brand as a whole once again i have really high hopes i feel like I already want to buy the sweatshirt. I'm, the only thing I'm disappointed about this whole haul is that I didn't get a sample of Glossier U, which I thought I was going to get because I already want to buy that, but like it's a little bit risky buying a whole perfume when you don't know if you'll like it. So not too sure if I'll do that. We'll see. Um, I probably will, to be honest. If it's anything like that body oil, I'll love it. So I probably will. Yeah, I'm probably going to just go do it as soon as I have the money. <laughs> Um, anyway, I think I'm done rambling. I think that's it. Basically, this is very exciting and I'll be back with you soon with more information and um, let's all have a chat about it and let's all share the Glossier love because Glossier is amazing. Um, so yeah, like I said, comment down below if there's anything I haven't covered. Please give this video a like if you liked it and then please subscribe, that would make my day. Um, this is a new channel if you didn't know that already so I'd really appreciate subscriptions and yeah let's all just be friends in the comments and um, chat about beauty so once again my name is Lucy welcome to my channel um, hope to see you back soon and yeah thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed have a great day bye